Hi there. Welcome to Power Factor Systems. I would like to show you the capabilities of our new VSD starters. All the features that I will show you over the next few minutes comes as standard on all our VSD panels. We've designed the system to accommodate 99% of irrigation systems that we had the privilege of working on over the last 20 years. Not all the features might be applicable to your irrigation system. So remember, if there is a feature that you do not want to use, you can simply turn it off. Let's have a look at the main screen. Here you have four irrigation options, manual mode, external source, timer start and emergency mode. Your operator's manual, user setup and the event history. Let's look at the operator's manual. The system was designed so that it is easy to use. An on-screen user manual with the electrical drawings, RuraFlex information are available at the touch of a button. User settings. You will be prompted for a password. The standard password is 12345. Here you have two options, normal irrigation and pivot irrigation. Let's do the normal irrigation first. There are a total of seven fields available. Each field can be programmed for its own pressure. Each field is also equipped with a relay output to switch solenoids for the selected field of pressure. If you do not want to use a field, simply put in a zero value and it will be removed from the screen. Some systems require that the pipeline be filled very slowly. Here you can select a pipe filling time in seconds and a pipe filling speed in hertz. Again, if you do not want to use this option, simply put in a zero value. If your system requires priming, insert the priming time that you require here. There is also a relay output available as standard on our system. Ruraflex. If you are not on a Ruraflex billing system from your electrical supplier, select continuous. If you are on a Ruraflex system, you have the following options. Off-peak only. Your system will only run in off-peak times. If the system was running when time of use changed, it will stop and auto restart when off-peak is applicable again. Your next option is standard time and off-peak time. Your system will only run during these times. As mentioned earlier, if you select continuous, your system will run regardless the time of use. This system is very easy to use. If you are not happy with a setting, you can simply change it to a more desirable setting. Pivot setup. Now let's look at the available pivot settings. It's the same as the normal setup, but here you only have five fields. Field 1 can be set up for four different pressure settings. Some of our clients use limit switches on their pivots to run at different pressures as the landscape changes. Or the end gun of the pivot can be programmed to switch to a different pressure. It's time to start the pump. Let's look at manual mode. As I mentioned earlier, we designed the system to be user friendly and this is how easy it is. You select the field that you want to irrigate. Let's do field 2 that must run at 1.3 bar and press the start button. Remember we inserted a priming time of 8 seconds. Here you can see it priming. After our priming it will start with a pipe filling mode. And after pipe filling pressure regulation will start. Let me quickly show you the display section. First block is RuraFlex. Notice the blue block. We can see that continuous was selected and the green circle shows that it is currently off peak. Next block is our running hours of the system. Then we have the drive temperature. And the last block in the top row is the percentage motor load. Left bottom shows the current pressure. Notice that we are maintaining the pressure that we asked for. Next block is DC bus voltage. After that, the current of the motor and the speed that the motor is running at. There are two options to stop the pump. The auto stop timer. Let's say we want the pump to stop after one hour. You can see that there is 60 minutes to go before the pump will stop automatically. Or you can simply push the stop button.
It's as simple as that. Now let's look at the external source. External source can work with any external irrigation controller. If we activate input 1, the program start sequence will follow. The pump will prime, then pipe filling and then run at the set pressure. If the input is removed, the pump will stop. As simple as that. Let's have a look at time start. This allows you to put in an irrigation schedule by simply pushing the time settings button. Here you have 7 irrigation programs. Let's do program 1. Insert the starting time. And then select the day or the days of the week that you want this program to run. Now we select the field that needs to be irrigated. And lastly the time when the pump must stop. You can see that program 1 is activated. Now exit and press the start button. When the program parameters comes up, the pump will start and run its program. Thank you for watching this video. Please contact me on 082-458-7429 if you need more information.